Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the channel. Today's video is about my favorite Skywatcher GTI accessories. But before we get into it, if you haven't seen my Skywatcher GTI playlist, because this is my fifth video on the Skywatcher GTI, I'll make sure to put those links down in the description below. So make sure you check those out. Also, all the accessories I'll be talking about today, I'll make sure to link in the description below. And if you have any accessories that you've been using that you like, make sure you add those down in the comments so everyone else can check out your accessories too. All right, well, let's get into it. One of the first things I upgraded was the GTI saddle. That bolt in there would have a tendency to mar up any type of dovetail that you put in it. And I really didn't want that. Luckily at the time, I found a saddle upgrade by ADM. And it is a very easily installed item and takes the place of the old saddle. This piece accepts the Vixen style dovetail plate and also the Los Mandy style dovetail plate. That's a nice touch because I see some small refractors equipped with a Los Mandy now. Apertura seems to have gotten in the game with this one as well. They offer one that only accepts a Vixen style dovetail plate and is also a breeze for installation. Now, I've never seen this part, I've never owned it, but it looks like a good alternative if the ADM saddle upgrade is a little bit too expensive for you. All right, next up is the Skywatcher S20555 tripod. And this was a surprising find for me because it was super rigid. It features a nice spreader tray, which adds to the rigidity itself and also has a handy bubble level. What initially led me to this product in the first place was I broke my astronomical tripod. I had just bought the Skywatcher GTI head mount and I didn't have access to the original Skywatcher GTI tripod. For some reason, Skywatcher just doesn't sell it separately. But it was a happy discovery because this tripod is really sturdy. I'm pretty sure due to the construction, it might be able to support a small harmonic. Now this next part is something that I actually designed and made. It's the Skywatcher adjustable counterweight weight. This part came about because I added a two inch filter wheel to my imaging system. I felt like I needed just a little bit more weight to balance it out. So I made this counterweight where you can add any type of weight you want inside of it, kind of like a cookie jar. For example, I used some fishing weights, I used some nuts and bolts, and also some pellets, and I was able to get nearly one pound of weight inside of this. And it also has the potential of a lot more, depending on the weight that you put in there. I suggest maybe tire weights where you can get on Amazon, which appear to be very inexpensive. Installation on this part is pretty straightforward. Just make sure it's the first weight you put on the counterweight bar. What I also ended up doing was unscrewing the toe saver just a little bit so I can get just a little bit more extension for the weights. Here it is on my Skywatcher GTI. And as you can see, I have a two inch ZWO filter wheel on there and I'm able to balance it no problem. It should be a little top heavy at this point, but as you can see, it balances quite nicely. And here's another part I've been working on for a while, which will also fit this tripod. The black sleeve there, which is also made of a durable TPU, goes over a bolt on the tripod and the finder base is actually made of a PLA or a PETG, depending on what color I print that out on. And it's all held together with a bolt. To install it, you're going to need to remove that washer right here, and then the bolt will just drop out. There's a 3D printed ring that you'll slide over the bolt, and it should look like this when you put everything back together. The next thing you're going to do is slide the part onto the bolt, and it is channeled. And then you're going to just thread the ring onto the part. And this part is printed in three different colors. Gold is what you see here. I can also print it in a rainbow and also a black and white. Then just slide your ASIR into the finder base and you will find that the finder base is at a nice tolerance. 
It's not too loose. It's not too tight. It fits just right. That way you don't have to worry about tightening down any screws. The part also can articulate so that you're able to get the best reception with your mobile device and also maintain proper antenna polarization with your device. And we can't forget about the Apertura case for the Skywatcher GTI. It has a space for the counterweight bar and also it is magnetic there at the top. It's got a nice zipper and it will store quite a few things. Here are my wires and everything I need. ASI Air, Skywatcher GTI, miscellaneous stuff, and more miscellaneous stuff as well. All my counterweights, And there you have it. All right, well, I hope this video has been helpful to you so far. I've got one more accessory for you guys. It's not necessarily for the GTI, but it's something you guys might be interested in. And that is Taco's favorite dust cap. Oh yeah. They're designed to go on the ZWO spacer rings here. So for instance, here's a 16 and a half millimeter spacer ring i think there you go camera <laughs> is it the 16 and a half hold on no that's a 21 millimeter anyways 16 and a half 21 millimeter the 11 millimeter spacer ring it'll all fit on that but here's what it looks like and here it is on my 294 and you'll notice actually i print these things out with a texture on them. I think it looks really cool on the bottom. And if you've noticed, the caps also have rounded edges. And this is the quality that you'll receive. I don't know, I think it looks really nice. And on the underside of these, I printed these out with kind of a swirly pattern in there. I don't know if you can see that. But I think it looks really, really cool. Yeah, really cool. And they're super grippy too. So you won't have any problems with the dust caps just kind of falling off in the middle of the night. And they come in four colors too. They'll come in this goldy gold, as I call it, a copper, a black, and also a space gray. Well, that's all I had for you guys today. And remember, if you have any accessories that you guys are using yourself, Make sure to put those down in the comments so other people can see them. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.